Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Mother Nature Healing. Thank you for joining me for a weekly message for the week of May 28th, 2019. Time is fluid, so whenever you happen to see this message, this message will be for you at that time. Make sure you follow me on my social media at Mother Nature Healing or at Haru Haki to get more information on healing services and all of that great stuff i'm gonna go ahead and get started within our reading so sorry i'm a little late this week guys however um the shifts in energy are very real this week so i am using palo santo which is a very calming uh stress relieving um energy is a little bit different than sage sage definitely cleanses your space this uh cleanses your space but also puts in joy and creative energy in it it has a really sweet smell and it's called palo santo so if you have it you can definitely use that this week also um i was guided by my higher self to purchase a plant for myself this week um in self-care and the self-care plant that i end up purchasing is called celosia it is a pink flower it had it has like a comb and um it is fuchsia and when i looked up the meaning of it you know i just was going with what my intuition was drawing me to but when i looked at the meaning to it it meant to be flamboyant and bold and it was about singularity and standing out so definitely take this message up onto you um because i do feel it is a channel message for all now in the reading i'm going to show the cards directly this week instead of me holding them in to the camera so you can see them but definitely there are some major themes okay so i did have the three the theme of the number three um and also the number seven so three is an ascended master energy it is the number for the trinity okay um it is definitely inspiration and creative number also. So there are shifts in creativity, changes, but understand that this, these changes that are coming into play right now have been caused by divinity, okay? The other number combination that I've been pulling is number seven, which is spiritual guidance, mysticism, a number. It also is seeking truth. So a lot of other shifts that are going to be coming into play for this week is going to help reveal truths about yourself, situations, and so forth. So, so let's go on and get started into the reading. And actually, oh, okay, well, I'm going to stop it here and then I'm going to come back with the cards. So see you in just a minute. All right, guys. So this is our spread for this week. So we're going to start. See, I have these energies of three here. Now, I was trying to pull singular cards, but then I ended up getting three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven, eleven cards here. So let's start here. So the first card that I have is enlightenment, and enlightenment is the solar plexus. Okay, in order to find peace, you must face your fear. This card came up last week for us. So with enlightenment, I also see this as a continuation from the theme of finding our master teachers, right? With this three trinity energy, um, with this three-sided triangle manifestation energy. I do see the inner child here, the sun. But I see the sun present in a situation where the moon would be because I do see stars. Now this is around this divine being, however, I do see this as something present. Um, so this child is open to embrace um, the, this divin divine power, this, this guidance that is brought forth by the universe. So I am seeing for your solar plexus, you have a competent place to face your own fear um, in order to gain a deeper level of wisdom. Okay. Um, also, the other sh chakra card that came out with that was self-worth. Self-worth is our sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is a number three energy, creative energy, okay, um, is ruled by Scorpio. However, this is where our, our emotions and our creative 
place the things that we birth lie within us, our sacral chakra. Now this self-birth card here is this person has been walking in the cold and they're being drawn towards this warm light to sit in this throne. Now, this also is representative of not letting other people control the worth that you feel for yourself. Okay, because there could have been situations here where, where it would not seem that you're worthy to be in this place based off the way that you're dressed, based off the way that you look. Um, but you are not meant to listen to the things of the outside, this air. Um, but you are to listen to self. So are you worthy to be in this king or queen energy for this week? So it is about learning more about yourself, right? Gaining through enlightenment by facing deep down traumas from childhood in order to find out more about self. So that is that. The next card that came out was for the root chakra. This is the red grounding stability card. Okay, on this card, it does look like a woman is giving birth to seeds in the earth. There's a lot of energy that's happening here. There's trees within her hands. There are elephants on her shoulders. There's a turtle within her womb. Spirals representing like the universe here. You know, planting seeds of, that are growing that is creating the type of earth which is like the reality that we live. So how are you grounded? How are you stable this week? You know, are you finding your grounding through who you are? And at the same time, are you learning and being open and receptive to find out more about yourself, about your journey, about where you're meant to go? This is all lower level chakras that are being worked on this week. This is the first, the second, and the third chakra, right underneath the heart. So this definitely um, has something to do with what we physically have here on the earth, you know. So finding out and exploring these, these levels of ourselves is going to be very beneficial for this week. Okay. The next set of cards that I'm going to address and talk about are these three cards here. Now, like I said, we're in this three energy. And then we have six of swords and the ace of swords. So with the three of swords, usually I see this as contracts and partnerships, um, different things that are coming about that have more than two people within it. Pinnacles are the things of earth, right? These are design. However, I do see this as good omen to future things that are coming about, contracts. However, I do see shifts with the six of sword energy moving away within your thoughts or actually physical moving for this week met with the ace of swords now since this is the same suit you know i have the three i have three plus three times two three three multiplied then we have this ace of swords here too six plus one is seven right that's the other theme like i said we have for this week and the seven of swords is a very um like manipulative energy so i feel that this week some form of energy that came that's very deceptive some truth that comes about that's gained by the universe that is put out by the universe that causes a shift in your mental in your mentality and it's good because it's going to lead towards uh positive partnerships and things that are going to gain favor right to help lead you into this point of grounding and stability within your physical plane so keep that the next car set of cards that i did pull here we go we have three nine and twelve the three of earth which is the same right i just noticed that <laughs> the three of earth twice right three of pentacles and we have the nine nine of fire right and then we have the shaman card, which is the hangman in the original deck, which I kind of see this in this enlightenment card. First thing I noticed with this um, deck of cards that I pulled, three plus nine does equal 12. <laughs> and one plus two equals three, right? One plus two equals three. Three plus nine equals 12. So they definitely are counteractive within each other. So 
this I always see as downloads because it's like a volcano I see this representative of the chakras and as the crown chakra and us gaining divine downloads and messages of action action because fire represents the one energy which is action that comes in and it comes through your heart space to allow you to move the three of pentacles that's very grounded energy like i said similarly to the three of pentacles here it is about contracts building what is stable on the earth so let me see what the book says Not the three Man. 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 so it says hmm. this is a three-part process that's underway in the physical realm and you may have already arrived at the point of synthesis following a thesis and antithesis. Thus, a resolution to a recent problem may be at hand. You are being plagued by self-doubt though. And a solution is now available to appear. Another possibility is that working along with one other person on a project has not been successful and consider bringing a third person into the picture. This new spirit and presence may have a galvanizing influence on a real life enterprise in the works. So in the geometric design of the three is the power of the Trinity to be revealed in the material plane. Divine creativity, joy, inspiration, a wise balance of energies. So, you know, these are different forces and archetypes and people developing a plan of action for you. Okay, let's look at the nine energy. Right. With the nine of fire. With the nine of fire. Hold on, guys. This is the small, still voice within your psychic, encouraging you to fulfill your exalted mission on earth. Each one of us have a sacred person for this purpose for this incarnation. So what is yours? The trio of the three, see trio, right? One, two, three. Of the lotus petals can signify a full blossoming in your personality, soul, and spirit as a complete trinity existing on inner levels. You're now at the peak of power mentally and intuitively. So keep looking upward for divine insight coming from a guardian angel or a master of wisdom, which would be a shaman, right? Enlightenment coming from a divine being and shaman is actual teachers, people. So it says higher truth is seeking admittance into your reservoir of knowledge. So be very open this week. There are creative ways with the number three energy that are trying to be expressed through you. Um, like I said, the truth coming, truth, this is also representative, this is air sign energy, but this is truth, knowledge, intellect, travel. That is what the sword energy represents. So being open to this energy is going to be very beneficial for you this week. Now the last card that I'm gonna read from the book of the interpretation is the shaman card. And the shaman card is representative of the hangman. Let me see. All right, I'm just gonna read. Sorry, I'm trying to get this together. But it says, this person appears serene and calm and is not dead. This figure represents the need to turn your values completely around as you begin to understand the greater mysteries concealed with, within spiritual life, death, and rebirth. This card can signify renunciation, sacrifice, repentance, and surrender. This shaman in this picture is on a soul journey where his spirit meets the terrain of his life's secrets and sorrows. He's reached a point of evolution where he must birth a new consciousness and reverse his understanding of life. Everything looks different to him now. His feet extend upward into the sky where branches of the trees dance freely, unencumbered. His upper torso is submerged in the underground world where he meets the eyes of nature, the serpents of wisdom, who with compassion in their grace teach him knowledge of unseen worlds. They are mystical dreamers of the dark. The shaman's eyes are wide open and stars surround his head, serving as luminous lanterns in the darkened caverns of the earth. It appears that he is being eaten by the earth, which is symbolic of how the mystical experiences consume him. He extends a wide-eyed expression of amazement and joy to all. So it says, just when you thought you had all life puzzles figured out, you're invited into the shaman's dream, where your world will be turned inside out. 
you will listen with new insight and hear the tones of the earth's magic. You are a root person now. Right? We have the root chakra here. Arms extended downward into the moist earth. You hear the echo of the stars reverberating with the harmonious notes of celestial wisdom. So how will you ground that wisdom? So look, there's the, the root chakra, which is the stability. And this is wisdom here that's being encouraged. And then within the between, we have the self-worth. So will you be grounding this with how you feel about yourself? Good question. You know that there are portals of time that you will travel through and life will never look the same again. You, will, you must bring the sacred call of mysteries into light, but you must first refocus your awareness to become a medicine man, woman, shaman, healer, and giver of secrets. You know something remarkable now and soon will root this knowledge in the practice of your everyday life. So you do have a brilliant mind. You know, you are seeing stars. There's a birth. You are being shifted into a new portal. So the people who are being moved intellectually in your mind the mental space that you have the knowledge and the new truth that is gaining you're being shifted you are being moved to a new place and what this new place is going to help you it is going to bring you creativity inspiration and joy through new partnerships connections you will gain enlightenment and have divine guidance guiders protectors like i see the enlightenment card as someone a child you know think about caregivers you know like a uh, parents place or thing there's a trinity energy here manifestation this child is open armed receiving this person you gotta think about like our parents you know like we're so we have divine people placed on the earth to guide you through life to you become a certain age to where you can live by life by yourself so it does seem like there is some divine divinity here to help either heal your inner woundings right possibly of self-worth and are you know being becoming grounded and stable and helping you move through life to where you can now operate in your healer your shamanistic your medicine man woman you know energy to where you are operating and doing what you're being called here on this earth to do so all these shifts that are happening right now be accepting of them because this move this shift is necessary for you like I said, you're receiving divine. You are being greatly protected right now. All right. The next card that I have is the number seven energy, right? The home, three plus four, which is Vesta. Now, Vesta, mind you, she is a woman, right? She is one of the goddesses. And she is able to harbor fire, right? This fire energy that's here. She has it in her hands. Okay. So, it, it talks about nourishment in the books for this so my nourishing energy let me go ahead and read what it says because um and passion you know and different things like that and it's talking about within your home so nurturing the your existing family you know making sure you're taking care of yourself and those around you that are in your immediate presence so let me just read it really quick it says vesta is the roman matriarchal goddess the mother goddess of the the hearth the flame of the heart vesta and her six virgins were revered as high priestesses who offered warmth and offerings to the people she offers stability and warmth to your home she is associated with nourishment look stability i just realized stability which is that red root chakra right and worth to the home right uh her humble pet donkey protected her from any intruders and they're considered sacred to her so the sign for Vesta is an altar table with twin flames rising from it, which is this um, symbol here. Uh, oh, that's funny. Twin flames rising from it. Okay. Nurturing Vesta welcomes you to feel at home in the temple of your inner being. So that's your inner self, right? The self-worth, your inner being. Not relying on any other person, place, or thing to create value for yourself, right? Your external physical home reflects your inner home. So she's offering a sanctuary of warmth to your hearth and clan. Her energy nurtures a haven of belonging. So you're going to be moving if you are being shifted to a place of belonging for you right now. So it represents home, hearth, fireplace, oven, comfort, sanctuary, family, belonging, homemaker, domestic bliss, bonding, home cooking, tribal, and soul family. So becoming closer, more connected with your soul family may be something also. 
you know, finding out about yourself to even find out where and gaining enlightenment, this manifestation energy here to manifest your soul family and the people that are like minded with you at this moment in time. All right. The last card that we have is another seven. OK, and I will read from the book on this. And I'll just uh, key thing I just thought about with this flower, the Celosia flower that I just purchased. I forgot. It also means the definition of this means burning. So, you know, along with this bold flamboyant energy that this this flower represents, it also represents burning. So I've seen it as a very passionate flower also just to say. And now I'm thinking about this. This um, <laughs> actually looks a little bit like that. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for leading me to that flower because I know it's going to be definitely something that um, I'll be able to utilize for myself. And I hope you guys do too. So, number seven, and it says the journey home. This is like the home. This is the second time that we're seeing this home message. All right, come on. And this is representative of the chariot card, which is the card of cancer. And it says every journey offers numerous opportunities for new awareness that may change the course of one's life forever. The chariot brings many associations to mind. In the Greek mythology, Apollo the sun god rules the heavens and rides in a brilliant golden chariot. The chariot opens the way for us to look deeper within ourselves in order that we may discover the resources buried within. Victory and courage are the outer manifestations of something much grander and more meaningful, for it is the strength of the inner world that infuses the conscious domain of human activity and triumph. The chariot is symbolized by the numerological, numerological power of seven, which is governed by the force of the unconscious, which propels us to research the inner caverns of the soul. The number seven is mystical. When influenced by this force, one often engages with quiet study, meditative reflection, for there is a quest for inner knowledge and deeper understanding. At this stage, the sacred marriage symbolized by the lover's card has anchored a chalice or a womb-like structure within the psyche. This will serve one well in life, for the synthesis of one's masculine and feminine aspect provides a foundation for higher order and functioning in the world. This is the next sequence of the seven major arcana cards on the royal ro road of wisdom. Enlightenment, hello. Here the emphasis shifts from more primal personal evolution towards refined pr principles of initiation and service. So, the journey towards inner consciousness marks the point of one's life when new level of maturation emerges, for one must meet the challenge of the individuation head on. The quest for identity has been expanded outward, yet ironically, the cosmic significance of one life purpose must be found within. So the journey home card is a forward movement of the soul force, which is journeying towards the moon, symbolizing humanity's watery emotional interior, which is the divine feminine. And the moon, from an astrological point of view, holds the imprint or memory of the human soul. Okay, so at this stage of initiation, the spiritual seeker, which would be you or whoever's watching this video, aspires towards a personal relationship with the world. But to accomplish this, one must withdraw from the transit, <laughs> withdraw from the transitory nature of the outer spheres and engage with what's fluid and eternal. As long as the human being lives primarily in the pleasure and pain in life, he or she cannot gain knowledge of the unchanging, super sensible world. One must learn to engage with the soul and live through the intuitive self that in time becomes the primary organ of perception. Hmm. So the number seven is very sacred and you are being invited to take flight into the great heavens within your soul as you journey into journey. The vast terrains of your deepest truth and wisdom. Look, journey to truth. Mm. Reach beyond the personal ego. You're being guided to go deeper. This is not what you can see, you guys. Find solace within the sky of new perception. The 
It says you must become bird-like, okay? And that is birds are born twice, first in the egg and then second out of it. Furthermore, the bird, like a great celestial chariot, tracks his mission and stays on course throughout the various stages of its life cycle. So this card comes to you at an auspicious time. The next stage of evolution is knocking on your door of your heart. It's time to slow down, open the door, and meet your destiny. Immerse yourself into nature. Look into the mystery of life with new eyes. The flowers radiate iridescent light. Hello, flower. Uh, iridescent light. Mm. Where was I? I lost the play. Mm, you are on your way home. It is now time to find the right relationship between your body, soul, and spirit. This is a very singular card, guys. These are this message is very singular. However, you know, in this leaving, there may be younger people, but this is a singular, single, 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 single energy. Okay. This is for the soul of the individual. Often in a rush, we harness our lives to external human-made clocks that wind us down to an exhausting level of human doing. This gives us a mindless busyness, a kind of closed loop, a vicious circle. But it's time to come out of this karmic loop. This is, these are karmic loops. You're doing the same thing every time and, and expecting different results. You have to rise above you have to move up again right if you're here in this root chakra then you move up one gain self-worth in your sacral chakra it's time to move up again right solar plexus where your action where you move forward at right gain enlightenment and where this comes you manifest at this time because you have divine intervention the shaman card is here the shaman is the healer right if you're not a healer yourself you are going to be receiving the healing right coming into divine divinity uh receiving downloads you see these three 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 seven 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 like yo like it's a message it's a message it's a message so and then then also with my flower my salusia right which means burning right to burn bold energy you have to be willing to shift through this portal right these are truths being revealed to you you see this is a crown that is on top of this truth right and guess what guess what sits in the chair a king or the queen this is a throne right allow yourself to shift into this energy allow yourself to shift in this energy it is time to go home you are moving your timeline may be collapsing right now so it does feel very jumbled right you know but you have to know your worth you have to know that you're worthy of this because you're trying to find the 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 connector between your groundedness and your alignment and this self-worth know who you are know what's uh set boundaries for yourself and obligations and standards this is present present this is like a presentation this is what I want, my expectation. Be willing to shift off of that. And understand that there's gonna be added to, right? This is not from the actual person. This is God, this is this is the above. And come and adding to what you already have. With the crown, right? This is different. This is face upward. These are face downward. These are the truths that are already known. These are new, the newness, right? Take this passion, this fire, energy, the downloads that you have, and create. Passion, fire is creative. This is a twin energy. She has a table, right? And the flames are above it. And they're not, they're not consuming. And then she has wisdom, she has protection, you know, and she is focused. She is able to use alchemy within her hands. You know, and then this one is the earth, the grounding is here, stable, right? And being planted. And just think about this. This looks like 
earth and this he could be a seed you know what i'm saying it's being grown it's growing you know like so i'm just gonna take it there i'm gonna leave this here with you guys this message to meditate on um thank you so much for supporting me if you want to book a personal reading with me the reference to spirituality love our mini reading um about career then just send me a message or follow me i'll put all my information in the description box below thank you guys for joining me um peace love and light bye